Um, what you need to know about Android is it's Java, but it doesn't run on the Java virtual machine. It runs on the Dalvik virtual machine. And uh, 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 Google has a, a whitelist of classes you may use. Now, that whitelist isn't that useful for us. It's the most useful thing is, is the blacklist. What are the forbidden classes? So the first Android port we made, we threw away, for instance, a, a, a feature, PDF Graphics 2D. It doesn't make any sense on an Android phone because uh, on Android there's no uh, advanced windowing toolkit functionality allowed. Um, so what we did was we removed plenty of functionality. Java, Java AWT, Java NIO, uh, it was all removed. One thing we didn't want to remove was J Java AWT color because, well, uh, taking away that color class would, would really uh, well, th be throwing away plenty of functionality, but we didn't really need that color class, so we, we created our own uh, iText PDF based color class. Uh, so the first uh, attempt we did uh, was create a reduced version of iText based on iText uh, 507, and I'm going to show a small example. I'm going to run as Android. Android application. So now he's, uh, Eclipse is uh, deploying a Hello World application to uh, a virtual uh, Android instance. This is a class that is Android uh, stuff, so you have extends activity. And at some point, we create a PDF. Now, create PDF, we have uh, here a class. I've even added a main uh, method just to show you that here, in this class, there's nothing Android-specific. It's we create a document, we create a writer, we open the document, close the document, and in between, we add stuff. Uh, so this class isn't any different from what you would write for a normal iText uh, application. This is a, an emulator emulating a, a tablet, and the first thing we made was a hello application where you could enter your name. Let's see. I don't know. Click on Create PDF, and uh, a PDF uh, is being created now. Uh, it's rather slow, the emulator. That's, that's also a pain when you create uh, Android apps that uh, the emulator is, is much slower than your device. So what were the lessons learned? PDF creation on Android is as easy as PDF creation in a normal Java application. So that was the first lesson, and then we said, OK, it's really cool. We have some demos. Let's make an Android par port, part two. Uh, the forbidden classes, instead of uh, throwing away the functionality, so PDF Graphics 2D is, is, go is gone in the Android port, but instead of throwing away stuff like affine transformations or uh, like uh, Java AWT rectangle, we use that for some, uh, in some places. Instead of throwing all that functionality away, we replaced it with other classes. There's a project, Apache Harmony, where they um, have uh, like an alternative for every AWT uh, class in, in the Java uh, J JDK. So we, we now have, uh, just like we did with Color, we now have everything that was Java AWT is now in a package iText PDF AWT. Then the, the Bouncy Castle prob, uh, problem, uh, as a matter of fact, the Legion of the Bouncy Castle has offered a solution. Use Spongy Castle instead. Don't ask me who chooses the, those names, but uh, it works if you, re remove every, if you replace every reference to Bouncy Castle with uh, Spongy Castle. So we now have a, a full version of iText, except for the PDF uh, Graphics 2D, uh, based on uh, the snapshot for the next release. And, uh, well, while we were experimenting with, with uh, iText on Android, immediately we also had a port for Google App Engine. The only, the major difference with Google App Engine is you don't have access to a file system. So you can't write to a file, use a byte array output stream instead. You need, also need a different way to access resources. So if you need fonts or images or you want to take an existing PDF, you need to serve them as a byte array. Um, I have uh, some... I've made some movies. This is the calls to PDF application on my phone. And uh, the image to PDF application, I'm going to look if uh, the virtual machine has started. 
So here I have my, my uh, uh, tablet, and I can select uh, me in front of the Adobe building, Valerie in in, on the Google desk, I can select uh, those images, and iText will create a PDF with these images. And actually, if I download this, this PDF, uh, you will see that uh, there will be a panel on the side with, with the thumbnails uh, of these images. But this is, for instance, a, a nice way if you have taken a lot of pictures and you want to combine them in a, in a PDF, you can just select them and create your PDF and then download it for uh, other use. Um, just a second, I'll close this. If you want to see these uh, applications in action, you can go to YouTube and watch the, the videos I've made. Now, um, last week there was a hackathon in hand, so there was a, a contest where you had to uh, create something that can be, can be used by the government, and we had two IDs, and uh, one for the uh, most popular application and one for the very unpopular application. Uh, the team won the third place with the, the most popular application, but I'm going to show you the, the least popular application. We've created a PDF form, and this form is meant to use for parking tickets. So we've, we've created placeholders for a photograph, for a matriculation number, for a, a, a make of a car, and then for a digital signature. Now, as you can't fill out a form yet on a viewer in, in Android, we, we've, we've replicated the form using uh, Android, uh, use the, the Android user uh, interface. So, for the picture, we can... I, I will take a picture of you all, so you are parked on the wrong uh, side of the road, for instance. I select um, vehicle uh, is blocking driveway or access. I can enter a license plate. I'll just enter something. And then um, here I have certificate password. Now, on this device, I have a, a key store. And uh, in this key store, there's a private key. And I can use this private key to sign this form. So uh, I'm going to enter the certificate key store. It's a self-signed certificate, so uh, it's not really a, a real uh, signature. I've exported the document, and what I have now is, in my, uh, on my tablet, I have a PDF. Just take a look. Okay. I have the PDF. I'll open it with Adobe Reader. And uh, this PDF contains a picture of the crowd, contains the, the number I used, and it's signed. There's a digital signature on the uh, PDF. So this was in case my demo didn't work. Uh, you have the, the interface with all the fields you can fill out. You can take a picture, uh, choose a, a reason why the, the, the guy de deserves a, a parking ticket, and then you fill out everything, including the certificate password. The document is saved, and you have a document. Here, I have downloaded the document from my device to my uh, computer, and I've added test person as a trusted identity in my Adobe Reader, and because test person is now a, a trusted uh, identity, the signature is valid. So this is a way where, where you could uh, go on the road with a device, fill out forms, and then uh, use the forms as, as, as a data container, and, and, and uh, so this is a, a signed document, it's, it's valid, and you could extract data from the document and put it into a database. Um, lessons learned. PDF creation on mobile devices, it's okay for pri private data, but normally for real documents, invoices, stuff like that, you're probably better off by creating it in the cloud on a server. PDF manipulation, well, we thought this Park at hand. We had, we had a, the popular application was Park at hand. This was Park at hand. Um, for stuff like that, it, it, it can be interesting. Also to sign documents. Frank had the, the, the example this morning about the board meeting where people have tons of paper and they need to be signed. If they could read the, the, the documents uh, during the session and then sign it with their own private key, that could be a, a, a solution to their problem. And security, well, it would be cool if we could connect to a smart card reader and if we could really make the EID in Belgium work, because 
who has a, an EID, everybody, every Belgian has an EID, but who knows his PIN code? Yeah, very few people. But it would be nice if, if, if somebody could go on the road and then uh, have people sign a document using their EID.